what's up guys it's cypher it's finally happening season four is coming tomorrow and with that we have our final teasers the final two pages of the comic book and uh some confirmation about the characters that we're gonna see in next season's battle pass also today we uploaded a new video on the dog channel where i gave my dogs a spa day it's super adorable and really cute if you guys have not subscribed to the dog channel go check out their new video and hit that subscribe button on their channel they just passed 200k subs so the runes that we talked about have appeared literally just a few minutes ago they've just appeared outside of this house um six ruins have appeared one two three four five six i don't think that's a coincidence uh, I'm going to take a look real quickly at the comic book pages. I just looked at them earlier. Basically what happened in the, in the comics, Thor sent out a message. All right. And she ended up teleporting with her magical powers, teleporting a bunch of people to come help Thor. Okay. She ended up teleporting a handful of characters to come help. And the characters are Iron Man, Captain America, Mystique, Storm, Doctor Doom, Groot, and She-Hulk. Just to get a head count. Iron Man, Mystique, Doctor Doom, Captain America, Wolverine, Groot, Storm, She-Hulk. So that's more than the six runes. And these runes are the runes that like Thor uses to, to transport people. So she brought them over and these skins are probably the season pass skins. Now, usually they do they do reveal who the secret skin is. And the secret skin that we that we we initially talked about was Wolverine. And he was front and center in that first in that first scene when they when they showed up. And then Tony Stark started saying, listen, like I don't like being teleported against my own will. What's going on here? Thor was like trying to explain the situation, telling him we need your help to you know, defeat Galactus. And then Iron Man was like, and who are all these people, right? It seems like the fight has calmed down and everyone's like, okay, what's going on here? Who are all these crazy people? The, the end of the frame says, you know, story to be continued in season four, which is happening tomorrow. I'm actually gonna be waking up at like four in the morning so that I can be one of the first people on the new season and, you know, upload my season patch video and review uh tomorrow so make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on it's happening but here's 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 the thing right and there's actually one more one more leak i forgot to cover but i'll get i'll get to it in a second we have all these leaks and all this information what we don't have yet though is new potential guns unvaulting and confirmed like absolutely confirmed map changes and poi changes we don't have those things yet usually the night before a lot of the leakers start finding this stuff and posting it but we really don't have a solid clue as to what's being changed i feel like epic kind of this time might be trying to like keep it a little bit more low-key and and really only add the things last minute now to be fair we do know a lot about potentially a fishing update that's happening that fishing update with all the new fish and stuff we've talked about in the past we can't be certain that that's happening next season. There's a chance that stuff is for seasons ahead, but hopefully it's coming this season because we definitely could benefit from a variety in, in the fish and a whole revamp uh, to the fishing. Now the last, the last, uh, this man just jump and shot me. My man has confidence to be walking around like that. Oh my God, I thought that was a person, but it's just, bro, the boat is vibing right now, man. What? So the last teaser was the letter S. So, so far they've been releasing one letter per day and this is the final teaser and it spells out Nexus, which is what we predicted it would spell out. Um, and we talked about Nexus being the, like the definition of Nexus is like the connection between different points, Fortnite and Marvel. That makes perfect sense. This is, that's exactly what's happening right now. But like like I said in the past, I feel like this isn't just a normal collaboration um, where they just do a crossover. I truly feel like Epic is trying to make Fortnite a part of the Marvel universe. Like truly try to have this overlap happen and, and really bring it way more mainstream than it already is, which is cool. 
it's cool that they're they're trying to go above and beyond with this stuff because no other game does that my man was about to eat all the slurp fish so if you're wondering when the season is going to drop servers will probably go down at 5 a.m Servers will probably go down at 5 a.m. Or 4 a.m. GG, man. It was a great attempt. Bro, I'm mythic out. Speaking, speaking of being mythic out, man... What's happening this season to the mythic items? Are we going to have new mythic weapons? Are, are each of these heroes going to have... So, like, if they're going all out with Marvel characters, are they going all out with, like, Marvel mythic weapons? Like the Iron Man blasters, Thor's hammer, Captain America's shield. Are these going to be the new mythic items that drop? Is that how it's going to go down? I'd be okay with that as long as they weren't, like, too broken. Dang, son. Materials looking good. Loadout looking good. I mean, we, okay, so we've had the the weapons. We've had the Thor hammer. Uh, we've had Captain America's shield. We've had Iron Man's blasters. They, they used to be in a game mode, the Avengers game mode. So those weapons already exist. Um... But in, in the state that they were in, in those, in those games, they were overpowered. But they were meant to be overpowered in that game mode. If they were to bring those weapons into Fortnite, they would have to adjust them for sure. Because that, like, would be a little bit ridiculous. The damage output they did, the aimbot that the uh, Iron Man Blasters had, it was incredible. No, oh, come on. GG, man, you were a good opponent. Is the pump coming back? We don't know if the pump's coming back. You know why? The, the thing about when they unvault a weapon, usually you can tell that it's coming back because they will like change the values of the weapon, whether it's a nerf or a buff. We've seen that happen with different guns in the past. They're not going to change the values of the pump. They could bring it back the way it was, but we can't know until the actual season drops. Dragon Shotgun, Dragon Shotgun might be coming. We covered the Dragon Shotgun. The dragon shock and might be coming. They, they added it to the game files last season. They showed us the numbers of it. Dang, you guys are both really weak. GG's, guys, let me know what you think about season four dropping tomorrow. I'll be live on twitch.tv, uh, checking out the new season tomorrow. So if you want to tune in and come see it live, you can tune in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow in season four.